I am so head. I'm a pressure pot, eh? Pressure pot does the work too. We are done pounding the palm kernel that I showed you earlier. Back from church, you guys. Back from church. This is the next day after the last clip you guys watched. So I want to start cooking banga soup. Banga stew, sorry. I want to start cooking banga stew for Sunday. You like banga? That's palm kernel stew for today. So we are done pounding the palm kernel. Let me quickly show you guys what the palm kernel looks like and we proceed from there. Um, yeah, let me just show you guys. So this is like three buckets custard. There's three custard buckets of palm kernel. So I will be taking out some here for my next for soup because I'll be making kokoyam soup. That was why I bought kokoyam and blunt rub on the body. Call it in the freezer. So let me take like enough for my stew for my soup next week. Okay, I'll be making soup next week. I'll store this in the freezer. Here, I have my cow skin. I'm cooking this, you know, with my pressure pots. So let me just fix up the sauce and show you guys. Say hi to baby Cassie, always in the kitchen. <laughs> I want to show you the kokoyam. So this is the kokoyam that we bought. I'll be making kokoyam soup, um, bitter leaf soup. But that should be by next week or weekend. This is Sunday, maybe the next Saturday. The way I do it most times is I love to prepare my ingredients, like stuff like kukuyam, palm kernel. This helps to hasten the process. So the day I'm going to cook soup, I will know that the thickness are already ready. Like, I will know that the kukuyam is already ready for the soup. Instead of me cooking kukuyam that day, pounding it that day, cooking my palm kernel that day, pounding it that day, cooking meat, like it takes a whole lot of time. And you guys know that most times I bought cook, so anything to hasten the cooking process, it, it works for me, okay? So, so this is going to be a continuation vlog. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, okay? I would like to have you here. <laughs> So you guys, at this point, the cow skin is ready. I cooked it for 20 minutes. This is as soft as, like, as soft as ever. So soft. So, so soft. For more pressure pots, eh? Pressure pot does the one, does wonders. So, we've cleaned up. We are done. We've cleaned up. And this is the banga, well extracted. So once I'm done cooking all the meats, then I'll go ahead and start boiling down the banga. So this is what it looks like. I want to quickly blend ginger and garlic for the meats. I still have this one. 
to cook okay i brought it out from the freezer this morning before going to church to church so um i have the fish let me show you guys what my fish looks like i'll go ahead and wash this right now this is mangala fish i'll show you guys properly i also have stockfish fillets which i'll be using so let's get right into it okay the mangala fish house fly what is this i've not started cooking you already put all over the place i'll wash this right now with hot water hot water hey wait i'll wash it right now with hot water okay so i have my banga spice these are called banga spice okay i'll go ahead and blend this right now i have my dry cup let me pour everything here and then start blending okay so uh this is the beef i'm going to add my blended ginger not all just a little this should be okay so it doesn't get too ginger gingery <laughs> so i'll also be adding some curry thyme and you know meat seasoning and i'm going to cook this one for 10 to 15 minutes okay in the pressure pot then after this we'll proceed and start making the the banga Washing the, the fish, it looks like so. I want to quickly wash the stock fish fillet. The stock fish fillet, I want to wash the stock fish fillet. Okay, I'm this fish well let me just add the same already but this fish tastes really good in banga and so that food doesn't add does not remove the banga So guys, I'm currently boiling the banga, okay, but I want to add the stockfish. This one will take a while to cook, so let me add it now. So that it gets the boil, I can cook, cook along with the whole thing. Just the strong ones. I won't, I won't add this one now because this is going to cook for about 30 minutes or so. I want it to thick in very, very well, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's in Kano. Mm -hmm. I put that. Okay. 
Okay, this should be okay now. It's okay. It's yummy, right? Yes. It will take some more time to boil. I want it to boil very, very well. Oh. What is it? Are you hungry? Yeah. You can't tell daddy, okay? So I have the stock fish. This is where this is where the work starts for me because this takes a while. If I start to add the meat and everything, it will be so so soft before this thickens. So the way I love to cook my vanga is I allow it to boil for about 30 minutes, to boil for five minutes. Let it secret its own oil, then thicken up some more before I add because the meat is already cooked. And see, it is very watery. Not very very watery, but it's watery. So I need to like cook for some time, okay? We are also boiling rice. Let me show them the rice. We're also boiling rice. Can you guys see? Yes. Yeah, so I'll see you guys very soon, okay? So you guys, I've added everything: both the, the fish, um, the stock fish fillet, pepper, the banga spice, because there's no time. I just have to add everything. As you can look, if you look at the um, look at the fish, the meat. But I think I'll be adding a little bit more of the meat. Okay. This is the stock fish. The stock fish. The one I added earlier. It has broken. You can see it is very soft now. Had even I did not added this early, I might not be able to get it. But then look at the stew. I have added the cow skin, the fish, everything you guys. This is stock fish. You can see. You can see. Let me take this out. Onion. So this has cooked well. I'm going to add, I'll add a little bit more, more meat because this is much. I won't be adding everything. I'll bring out some. This should be okay. So I have my obey, pre fish, and pepper. I want to rinse it. I can get everything out of the pot, out of the mortar. I also have blended onion, so I'm going to add. Cut that onion, it didn't blend well. A few moments later.